Hello everybody out there in YouTube, Micro Healy Helicopter Love and Land for Newbies. This is the old man doing stuff down here in Prattville, Alabama, USA. I'm doing a little video on my E-Flight training gear for my Blade Nano S3. Uh, she is a uh, collective pitch trainer. She has three different modes when you use a... Uh, Basically, uh, Spectrum Radio or however you set it up, uh, it's really good for training. This is what I'm learning on. I have a couple of Blade CFX 180s coming off of eBay, which are uh, little hot rods, uh, micro helicopters, quite a bit bigger than this. And so I'm training and learning. I have my training gear. I'm going to attempt to stay in the neighborhood of this uh, landing takeoff pad. Go to the right of it a little bit, forward and back. A lot of times when you're training with your helicopter, you can stay relatively close to the floor, especially on nice uh, hardwood floors like I have in my home. Uh, you can stay really close. You can move it uh, forwards, backwards, sideways. John Salt. I highly recommend this guy. He has videos on YouTube. He sells little eBooks. He uh, has all kinds of repair videos, anything training on a helicopter. He has forgotten more about helicopters than most people will know, and I follow his uh, teachings quite a bit. One of the things he teaches is that a newbie, when you're learning, try to uh, stay on the floor if you can with your training gear as close as you can, and you just guide it around on the floor. You fly a little bit, get out of the uh, blade wash sometimes as you get better, and you know he has certain ways that you turn and get your orientation. It takes a while. It takes quite a while, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, and we'll see what we can do, and you'll see I'm going to be moving it around and just doing newbie stuff. Here we go. All right, first thing I'm going to do is go from the green to the blue. Uh, green is fixed pitch on this Nano S3. If you go one click on your transmitter, it'll go blue. The uh, blades will move. Now it's in collective pitch. So I'm going to set my... Collect the pitch up to halfway. I'm going to uh, throttle off and she'll throttle up and we'll get started. So as you slide around on the floor, You can go right, left. You, you don't have to worry about turning over either, newbies, because as you guide it around, that landing gear keeps it from flipping over. Let me tell you, you flip it over a couple of times, and even this is easy to repair, and it's very resilient to several crashes. You need to learn now as a newbie that as you move up in helicopters, uh, they get more expensive to work on. And one little crash, you're going to fix it on bigger ones. And so, best thing to do is just learn from the start, learn good habits. And if you stay close to the floor, there's nothing wrong with that. You can learn forward. You can learn right, back, left. Okay, got to go left, okay. Once you get a little froggy, you can take her up. She's out of the shot right now, probably, but I'm going to bring her back. Yeah, it does have AS3X in the Blade Nano S3. I highly recommend it. Uh, this was not given to me by Horizon. I, I'm just not that guy. Uh, I don't have enough followers anyway for them to pay attention to me. However, it's $119 shipped as of August 2023. It's well worth it. Takes a little one cell batteries, very economical, about six, seven dollars a piece, very cheap. And you just practice your turning. Like I'm right now, whoa, here we go, hang on. All right, stand by. I just flipped her over. I hit my kill switch, didn't, didn't hurt anything. Always uh, straighten your props out, get them good and straight. Takes away a lot of the vibrations, the bigger your helicopter gets. Worse that vibration will get if you don't have them straight. Here we go. Okay.
So as you see, eventually you get up off the floor a little bit and the teachings I've seen so far from different people that teach newbies, it's better to go slow. Just because you're moving fast with a helicopter doesn't mean you're in control. Slow movements are the best to learn. You have to learn your orientations as it flies towards you. All right, I had to kill my switch. I'm gonna boot it up out of camera. All right, here it comes, stand by. So as you can see, it's not as easy as it looks, guys. I'll be coming back in here in just a second. Just stand by. There we go. All right, I'm uh, orientated around. Stand by. Stand by. I'm coming back. That's part of learning. Here we go. There we go. There she is. Now see, she's pointed at me. Uh, you need to practice your orientations easily. You get out of control. If she starts moving too fast, it just kind of, you know, gets weird on you. you. You lose what you're doing and it won't take much to do that. And you're close to the ground, you just hit your throttle hose and it'll just kill it. Then you straighten it up, get your tail pointed at you basically. That's an advantage to staying close to the floor. You can hit your throttle pill, she'll drop. It doesn't really hurt it to do that. So we're gonna throttle back up. This is about my, whoa, seventh flight on my Nano. And I've had old Walmart Healy's over the years. I've had uh, the Blake SR, which is a, a fixed pitch. And I'm having to break some habits of fixed pitch flying. If you, when you train, you get, the, you know, it's okay, I guess, as they say, for a while on fixed pitch. But if you ever want to progress to flying a collective pitch helicopter where you can flip it over and do 3D and all that, you have to learn collective pitch. And if that's your goal, the best thing to do is to learn on a collective pitch. And what I'm doing, I'm going to stay small and inexpensive. I'm going to have a Blade Nano S3 and those two CFX 180s that are coming from eBay. And that's what I'll be videoing and learning on. I'm not interested in getting into 3D. I just sport fly. I like to fly my foam airplanes. I have a Skynetic Havoc. I bought from Motion RC and I go 103 flat out. I have several other foam planes that are really fast. I like the Zods. I've got a, a biplane. Uh, just some high wing easy flyers that I enjoy. So, you know, I'm retired. I'm 64. I still drive a tour bus part-time, but all right, that beeping you hear, I've got my uh, telemetry set where it lets me know when my battery is about gone. So we're gonna bring her in for landing, guys, and end this video. Just wanted to show you how to get started as a newbie with your landing gear. You guys take care. There we go. Hey, don't get any better than that. This is the old man doing stuff down here in Prattville. Montgomery, Alabama, USA, learning how to fly helicopters. It is a lot of fun. Y'all take care. I'm out of here.